Oroka 2020 was released and none of my wishlists were included on the new features, so I decided to create them myself. Enjoy AutoCAD Viewport Mask. Welcome to Lazy Architecto Automation. If this is your first time here and you want to automate AutoCAD to accomplish more in less time, Start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. I called this new AutoCAD command Viewport XClip, but it's basically a viewport mask. As I mentioned, AutoCAD 2020 released didn't give us the tools to work with AutoCAD viewport above viewport, so let's create it together. To do this, Let's type CUI and enter. This will open AutoCAD customizable user interface. To create a new command in AutoCAD, we can duplicate any of the existing commands, rename it, and change its macro. Let's quickly explain this AutoCAD macro. First, we'll use rectangle command. Second, we'll apply AutoCAD wipeout command. P for polyline, L for last, and no to keep polyline. Third, we'll use the command change space. L for last. Fourth, we'll apply paper space command. And finally, we'll use MB to create an AutoCAD viewport from the last object. Now, to use our new AutoCAD command and have it always available, we can add it to our AutoCAD ribbon, to our AutoCAD 2 palette, or to our AutoCAD quick access panel. If you prefer to have them in your ribbon or 2 palette, I'll leave links on video description. Before we test our new command, let me hear your wish list for AutoCAD 2020 features on the comments. Alright, let's test our new AutoCAD viewport mask. You've been watching to the Lazy Architecto. I want to thank you and invite you to subscribe to the channel. Until next Tuesday, keep up sharing what you've learned.